Hey everybody, happy Friday to you. We are live now, just now, <laughs> just now. Of course, there's a little bit of a delay, but um, everybody will be showing up here soon. There's Regina, Colleen, it's so good to see you. Happy Feel Good Friday, Feel Good Friday. Yes, 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 we're gonna make this day a good one, right? Feel Good Fridays, those are my favorite days of the week. I look forward to Feel Good Friday all week long. And I actually work towards Feel Good Friday all week long too. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I do work on the Friday show all week long. So I normally work on like our Tuesday show, um, like Sundays and Mondays, but then our Friday show, I spend the whole week putting it together. So always have Friday on my mind. <laughs> Terry says, love the jersey. Laura, Laura says, love your shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We play. <laughs> I have to show, I have to show it off, right? I have to show it off. So we play uh, Sunday. I'm so excited. It's first like actual season game is on Sunday. So everything up to this point has been preseason. So we play the Browns on Sunday and I am so excited. It like, it's the official, unofficial, it's the unofficial, but official for me, marker of fall, right? Football starts, fall is here. I know it's not, but in my brain it is. So just humor me. <laughs> it's Red Friday, go Chiefs. You are exactly right. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. I got on my, I have on my Chiefs jewelry too, so. All right, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. It is Feel Good Friday. Feel Good Friday is, uh, like I said, one of my favorite days of the week. I work on on Fridays for the entire week, and um, this one is no exception. I've got five, five kits to show you guys. Guys, I normally don't do five kits. I normally just do like three or four. Or if I do five, I only show you some of them. But today I'm going to show you all five. We're going to do abbreviated versions, meaning you're going to you're not going to see the whole piece start to finish, right? So that I can get all five in here and we're not still here at three o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, I'm excited to show these to you. I also have four brand new maker mixes for you guys and an announcement about maker mixes. So we'll get there in just a second. But before we do that, let's do all of the housekeeping, right? So hello to everybody. Guys, we have tons of new faces, so many new people that I would love to welcome into the group. I'm so happy that you guys are joining us. Uh, don't be shy. Just jump right on in, right? Jump right on into the conversation. We don't bite. <laughs> in fact, we love to have new people here. So uh, make yourself at home, right? For those of you who are brand new and are not familiar with Feel Good Fridays, let's talk about what Feel Good Fridays are. So Feel Good Friday is instant gratification, uh, easy to recreate jewelry pieces. I have the kits for all of these pieces available in my Etsy shop. I also have maker mixes that are available in my Etsy shop. And uh, you can purchase those. I'll send them right to you and you can recreate these pieces or you can use things from your own stash and just use these as inspiration. Now, remember, Fridays are always easy, easy instant gratification jewelry. So there's nothing super hard about any of these projects. I always try to keep Fridays as beginner friendly as possible. I do that with Tuesdays, too. But Fridays in particular, because I want to send you into your weekend inspired, not bogged down with techniques and things that you just learned. There are so many lives out there. Uh, you guys watch so many different techniques and learn so many things through the week. I want to send you off into your weekend uh, feeling good, knowing that these are pieces that you can fall back on and make yourself without having to, you know, really get bogged down in techniques. So that's what our Fridays are all about. I hope that that sounds like something that you are interested in because that's what we're going to do. <laughs> All right. So speaking of the maker mixes, for those of you who don't know what the maker mixes are, because we do have new people. So maker mixes are just little small bead mixes that I put together. They always have like a little theme and we have started doing this new thing where for the entire month, you can buy the maker mixes from my, um, my shop and then you create a piece of jewelry using the maker mix you can use your own stuff you just mix it in together with your own stuff right and post a picture of the piece that you created every time you post a piece you are entered into a drawing to win a prize 
right? And that gets announced at the end of the month. Well, guess what? It is time for us. This is our, this was our first month. So the timing is a little weird here. Um, but we had our drawing last night. All of the Maker Mixes photographs, you guys, that you entered. Okay, first of all, can we just talk about how amazing you guys are? I have seen the most diverse collection. There is a um, there's an album in the Facebook group where you can see all of the designs that were entered into uh, the contest. And oh my gosh, you guys did amazing! Like you did amazing. Like your pieces are so inspiring and so beautiful. I just, I can't, I can't, I, I just scrolled through over and over, just looking at all of the amazing things that you guys created with just the beads that I put together, which was pretty amazing. Um, so I, I gotta say, you guys rock, you rock. So the drawing itself is not based on judging the pieces, right? That's not what we're here to do. We don't judge each other. We're not picking the best. No, no. All we're doing is just, if you want to participate, you put your picture in, we save your name. Colleen puts it into a little wheel spin thing, and then she spins it and gets the name of the winner. So this is not uh, based on your design. It's just based on the fact that you entered and are participating and having fun, right? So she did the drawing last night. I can't remember how many people. Colleen, tell me, how many people did you say entered? I can't remember. I want to say it was like 40 something, like 41, something like that. Um, so she put it all into an app where it makes a wheel and you spin the wheel and it comes to the winner. So for integrity purposes, she recorded all of that. So if you uh, if you want to see that, you can ask her. She'll probably share the video with you. Uh, we're not going to share it onto the page, but just so that you know, like it was absolutely fair. We didn't just pick a name or anything like that. Oh my gosh, I was way off. Colleen says there were 77 entries. 77, y'all. That's a lot. <laughs> you rock. Um, so... The winner, I'm going to just go ahead and tell you who the winner is. I feel like we need like a, a more interesting way of doing this. So maybe we'll do that for next month. Um, but the winner of this month was Jana May. Hooray! Congratulations, Jana May. So what does Jana May win? Jana May is going to get a really cool gift pack from me. And if you're interested in knowing what that is, I'm going to put it, to, when I have it all put laid out, I'm going to take some pictures of it and put those pictures so you can see like what you have the opportunity to win because there's going to be a winner every single month, right? So congratulations to Jana. And um, it's time for a new month. It's time for a new month. So you can enter again. I've got four new mixes. I'm going to show you those right now. Also, I can't wait to show you these kits. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> a little excited. I'm going to turn you guys around. I know you're tired of looking at me, right? Tired of looking at me. Let's get to business, shall we? Let's do these things that we are here to do. All right. So, <sighs> the maker mixes, I just want to say, I only have one Halloween maker mix. But there are going to be Halloween and Harvest themed maker mixes coming up over the next week or two. Okay, so if you're looking forward to making some jewelry out of um, Halloween inspired or Harvest or Thanksgiving inspired pieces, I've got mixes coming up for that. So this is the first little mix right here. This one is called the Howling Wolf. Oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't make everything live. Hold on just a second. I completely forgot. It doesn't do you guys any good to shop if you can't get to everything, right? So let me, I have been so distracted today. Let me make all of these live real quick. Sorry about that. Shoot. I'm glad that I realized. Just takes me a second. Editing, publishing. All right, guys, everything should be live in about three minutes. It takes about three minutes for the website, the Etsy site to um, populate, but everything's live now. Okay. Okay. So this is the first little mix. Let me show you. This one has a wolf charm. I, I don't know. This made me think of fall. This really made me think of fall. So there's this howling wolf. There are two little arrow charms in here. So this one, as far as beads are concerned, there are two magnesite beads. I'm going to put these like back in the thing as I'm talking about them. Okay. So magnesite beads. This one has a lot of gemstones in it. Um, let's see. Let's start with the non-gemstones. So there are some 
Picasso check glass beads. I'm obsessed with these. They're so, so pretty. There is a Poppy Jasper. This whole little color palette just had me feeling fall. I don't know why. It just did. Uh, a big tree agate bead. I'm, I love these. And everybody's beads look different, which is so cool. They're all the same gemstones, but everybody's have like their own personality, right? Picture Jasper pieces. Uh, there are some sterling silver spacers. There are, let's see, these little agate beads. I can't remember what kind of agate those are so pretty uh I, I, you know i have to do sparkle so there is a big faceted sparkly bead and then these awesome little lace marble pebbles i love pebble beads because they're irregular they're so fun though because it's just like having a pebble like if you're into natural kind of organic designs pebble beads are where it's at so there is our first little maker mix okay that's the first one hi danielle i'm gonna be talking about danielle here soon in just a second you guys all right, the next one, this one also has me feeling fall. All of these do, uh, is our little Monarch Butterfly mix. So this one has got a butterfly charm. This is not the last butterfly you're going to see in today's show. Got some just plain drucks because who doesn't need plain drucks? There are some fire agate. But the little butterfly is just like the whole, he was the inspiration for all of this little color, right? There's another druck. There are daggers in this. I've got lots of daggers. So there are daggers. There are little, look at these little dragonflies. I've got more dragonflies today too. Little dragonflies. There are some tiger eye beads, some vintage check glass faceted beads a little check glass drop, some copper spacers, some bicones, and a check glass twist bead. So that was a little color palette for the Monarch. Super cool. Okay. All right. I got two more. This one is my absolute favorite. I was so excited about this one last night. I had to send pictures of this one to uh, Jonah Colleen because the color palette is, oh, I love it so much. So this one is called Vintage Love has a check glass tulip, but these, I, I ordered these specifically for a maker mix because of the color, this whole little color scheme. It's like this orange, but there's copper and there's also like this maroon red too. I don't know. It's just gorgeous. So check glass, tulip, copper heart. There are some peachy colored faceted rondelles. There are some little copper spacer beads. I'm obsessed with this color mix. This beautiful check, or not check glass, but faceted glass. There's a vintage um, cloisonne. I probably said that wrong, but you know. And then the reds, right? Look at this. So there are these beautiful, deep, deep reds. There are bicones in green and a beautiful peachy color. And then four garnets. So everybody gets four garnet gemstone beads. And I got to tell you, they're not perfectly, perfectly round because they are gemstones. But they're so yummy. They're so yum. I love garnets. I love garnets. So there are beautiful, yummy garnets in this mix. Like that color palette is just like giving me life. So obsessed with that. So there's that one. And then last but not least, this one is the Halloween one. So this one is kind of Halloween themed. It's not like over the top Halloween. Um, it's really just a color palette of black and purple. But there is a black cat check glass bead. There are two spooky eyes. I love these. I think they're so fun. All right. And they're glass. They're not like acrylic or anything. Those are, you can hear, those are real glass eyeball beads. Those are fun. A little swirl. There are some matte druck beads in black. Because you gotta have black, right? Yes, Catherine, you can use other beads because these little mixes, they're just little mixes, right? I mean, you could make earrings and stuff out of them, but please feel free to add your own beads and things. Some purple faceted glass. There are these fabulous melon check glass beads. They are purple and black and orange and silver. Like they're really funny 
do you see that flash of orange? I don't know. They're really fun colors though. Some little metal spacers. There are some black and purple daggers, which I thought were super fun. Very Halloween-y, right? Uh, some tube beads that are like this metallic shift of purple and teal. I think they're fabulous. Love those. I know they're coming across as just like black, but they're not. Trust me, they're they're purple and teal. They're really awesome. And then some some little bicones. So there are some little tiny bicones in black, and then those two silver bicones. So that was the first of just a few coming up that I've got that are kind of Halloween, harvest, Thanksgiving related. You're going to be seeing lots of oranges um, coming up. Just so you know. Just so you know. All right. So that was the last little maker mix. All right, so those are the four maker mixes. Grab those, enter into our drawing for the month of September, okay? All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. Not that those were not good stuff, but we've got even better stuff, okay? So let's start with some butterflies because I told you those were not going to be the last butterflies that you saw. Uh, I've got butterfly kits, you guys, in this amazing green. Look how beautiful. So there are butterflies in green, and then there are butterflies in blue. And we're going to put together one of the blue ones. Look at that blue. It's so hard to decide which one is my favorite because they're both like in my color palette of favorite all time <laughs> colors, right? Okay, so we're going to put one together real quick. Okay, we're going to make the mate to this little blue one. So again, everything in the kit you need to recreate, right? So this one is the herringbone wire wrap. So you get everything you need to do the little herringbone for this. Okay. All right. So we're going to take our piece of wire and all right, we're going to start out making a wrapped loop, but we want to, because we're doing herringbone wire wrap, we want to come down on the wire a little bit more than we normally would because we've got to make about eight wraps okay so i'm grabbing the wire with my chain nose pliers down here um, about an inch and a half two inches down and i'm going to give the wire a bend okay straighten out that wire i'm going to come in with my round nose pliers i'm going to take that wire up and over the top barrel of the pliers right and in order to get that loop closed up, I got to move this bottom barrel of the pliers. So I'm just going to rotate just like that. Take the wire over to the other side and I'm going to switch hands and I'm going to wire wrap underneath that loop. But instead of doing our standard three, I'm going to do about seven or eight wraps. So we've got four, five, six, Seven looks like about all we're going to get out of that, which is fine. That's plenty, right? And I'm going to trim off, grab my cutter here. Okay, so I'm going to trim that off. Now I'm going to thread on our bead that we're going to do the herringbone around. So I'm going to thread on this beautiful blue. Look at that bead so pretty and what's cool about it is it's the same bead with both the green butterflies and the blue butterflies but it does tend to look a little bit different like it when you put it with the green it brings out the green when you put it with the blue it makes it more blue i love that all right so now we want to repeat this we want to we want to uh create the same wire wraps on the other side of our bead in order to do that though you either need to measure with a ruler or you want to just eyeball it right place your pliers out there and give the wire a bend because we still need that amount of space right between our loop and our bead in order to get all of these wire wraps in so we're going to come in with our round nose pliers make ourselves a wrapped loop and then we are going to fill in the space here with our wraps now it doesn't have to be perfect because all of these wraps are going to be covered up with our herringbone okay so here is what i've got so far right i've got my wrapped loops on either side my wire is coming around the back towards the front so you can see it's coming to the front of the wire wraps here i'm going to take that wire and i'm going to guide it down the side of our bead 
and I want to guide it in front of the wire wraps on the other side of the bead. Okay, so you want to make sure you're always going to the front. Okay, and then I'm going to take the wire, I'm going to wrap it around those wraps and then back out the front. That's going to secure that first wire wrap along the side of the bead, right? Now we're just going to, we're going to repeat that. We're going to take the wire up the side of the bead on the other side, right? And we're again going to the front of the wire wraps. Make sure you're coming to the front. Wrap around the wire wraps that already exist. And then back out the front. My hands are kind of slippery. <laughs> Should not have put lotion on before this. <laughs> Okay, so now we framed our little bead with one on either side. Now, we're just going to continue to do that. We're going to do like three, three or four of these. The next wrap that we make, right, we're going to go behind the first one that we made. So we want to lay that wire behind that first wire. Again, coming to the front of the wraps, wrap around and back out the front. Okay, so that second wrap is behind the first one on the side. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We wanna guide the wire behind the first, right? Just laying it up against the side of the bead, wrap around, back out the front. <laughs> it's like, I feel like I need to go wash my hands. They're so slippery. <laughs> All right, so there's two, let's do another. So we're gonna go, same thing. Lay that wire behind the last one that you made, wrap around, okay? And then go down the bead again, laying it behind the last wrap and wrap around, okay? And then let's call it a day. Just gonna wrap around the excess wire a couple of times. And I'm gonna come to the back and I'm gonna trim off the excess. And you have successfully created yourself a little herringbone. Okay, trim that off. All right. And now I'm going to attach all of the little pieces together. So super easy. I'm just gonna open up ear wire. I'll thread that onto the top, close that back. And then we're going to attach our butterfly with a little jump ring. So I'm just going to open, thread on our charm, and that's it. Now all you got to do is just create the mate to go with, and you've got both of your little earrings. So those kits are in blue, like we just did, and in the green, and you do them exactly the same way. There's no difference. The only difference is just the color of the butterfly. Everything else is exactly the same. So there you go. I love these. I love these. I'll try these on for you guys when we get done so you can see what they look like on because everything looks different on, right? All right. So let's move on. We have got a lot to get through. So we're going we're gonna to move right along. Okay. So the next set of earrings that we make, you guys, got a little special some special stuff going on with a couple of the kits here. In fact, all of the next kits have an element from my dear, dear friend, who is also a designer in the industry, Miss Danielle Wicks. And she's also in the, uh, she's in the chat today. So hello to Danielle. Guys, Danielle and I have been working on these little kits. She sent me some amazing beads to create these with, uh, or to create to create kits with. And I'm going to show them to you. You can grab these kits in my shop. But if you want more of the beads and more of the components, you're going to need to go over to Danielle's shop. Danielle's shop is Danielle Wicks Jewelry uh, over on Etsy as well. So uh, you guys, you don't want to miss. You don't want to miss because this whole little thing is part of a collection that she has in her Etsy shop called Fall Forest. you got to go check her out. She rocks. So check out these little earrings. I say little, but you know what I mean. Like, they're not really little. Look at the owls. She has tons of owls in her shop. So if you want owls, she's got them. This earring kit is in my shop. All the parts that you need, including the wire, all the pieces. Um, and there are four different color combinations. So this is the gold. There is one that is in silver and one that is in copper, right? 
I'm gonna put this together for y'all real quick. They're so fun. They're so look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. All right, so there's our little owl that I'm obsessed with. She has owls in every color. So awesome. Okay, so what you want to do is we're just going to create a little bundle out of our leaves here. So two of them have already been wire wrapped. Like I said, I'm doing kind of, um, you know, the shortened version of these projects today so that we can get through everything. But we're going to we're going to wire wrap one of them and then we're going to put them all together here. Right. Because you got to wire wrap them because they're drilled across the top. You've got to wire wrap them like a briolette. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. And then the little component in the middle is a branch. She's got a lot of these in her shop as well. They're all under that fall forest header. Um, that's her little collection in her shop. But this was really cool. Perfect for this design because there is a loop on the top and on the bottom and it's centered within the branch, which I think is super cool. So you don't have to worry about like making sure that everything is um, balanced and everything is going to hang correctly. Right. All right. So let's wire wrap our little we got to wire wrap our owl and we've got to wire wrap our bead. Let's do the owl first since that's the easiest out of the two. So uh, again, you get all the wire. I'm going to grab the wire. There's a long piece of wire. The longest piece is for your owl. Okay. So we're just going to create a wrap loop on one end of our wire piece here. So I'm just going to take that wire up and over just like we did in the previous project. Rotate the pliers, take the wire over to the other side, and then we are going to wire wrap. Now, we only need three wire wraps because we're not doing any herringbone or anything like that. All right, so there's our three wire wraps. We've just made ourselves like a wire wrapped eye pin. Okay, we're going to thread on our owl and we're going to wire wrap it directly to the component. So we're going to start our wire wrap. Okay. Grab the wire right where it's exiting the bead. I'm going to give it a bend. Come in with my round nose pliers. I'm going up and over. Rotate the pliers and take the wire over. Now, before I do the wraps, I need to attach this to the component. So I'm going to take that long end of the wire and I'm just going to thread it through the loop on the component and very gently wiggle the two together right so there's no jump ring involved here and now i'm going to come in with my bent chain nose pliers and i'm going to grab that loop and hold on to it and i'm going to wire wrap between that loop and the bottom of our owl and that will essentially connect our bead to our branch okay so now I'm going to come in with my cutter and I'm going to trim off the excess. Make sure that you tuck in your ends if you've got any little pieces that are sticking out. Okay. All right. So now he's ready. He's ready for all of the uh, leafy goodness here on the bottom. She's got all the leaves in her shop. She's got a lot of different leaves. This, these are just some of the leaves that I'm going to show you today. I've got some metallic ones that I got from Danielle as well, which are awesome. These are like a purpley blue kind of a Picasso uh, effect to them. They're super cool. All right. So I'm going to thread one of our leaves on. Remember, they're drilled through the top. So we got to treat this like a briolette. Okay. Oh, she has a coupon too. Danielle's got a coupon code, Sarah20. Use that at your checkout. Okay, and she dropped a link for her shop. Thank you, Danielle. I completely forgot to make a little banner for you. I'm so sorry. I'm such a bad friend. <laughs> I hope you forgive me. Okay, so I thread that on. I'm going to take one of the wires and I'm going to bend it this direction, right? I'm following the natural kind of slant of the bead. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side, just following that natural slant of the bead. So what you end up with is like, sort of like little TV antennas, right? You've got your two wires making a little triangle. They're crossing over the top of the bead. And then we're going to take one of the wires and bend it straight up and down. Doesn't matter which one. And then you want to take the other one and bend it straight out. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to wire wrap the straight wire with the wire that we just bent out sideways. So I like to use my bent chain nose pliers for this just because it helps me to get a hold of everything, but I'm gonna wire wrap. It also keeps the tip of the pliers out of the way. 
Okay. Wire wrap about three times. And then I'm going to come to the back and I'm going to trim that off. Now you can do an entire wire wrap here if you want to, uh, meaning you can take the rest of this wire, make a wire wrapped loop, make your wraps meet these wraps here. But I felt like it made the, the, um, the bead hang really far down to do that. So instead what I did is I just did a simple loop at the top of this. So I'm going to take the wire, I'm going to bend it right over the edge of those wire wraps, right? Okay, I'm going to come in with my cutter tool and I'm going to trim off. I'm just going to leave myself about a fourth of an inch and we're going to treat this just like a regular simple loop. It'll look like a wrapped loop because it has the wraps that are already there, but I'm just going to take that wire. I'm going to roll back towards my hands and that's going to create a simple loop. You just want to be sure that it's closed, right? Mine is not quite closed. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so simple loop looks like a wrapped loop, but it's not. We're just pretending. <laughs> All right, so now we want to just create a little cluster. Okay, and to do that, we're just going to attach a series of four little jump rings here to attach all of our leaves together. So I'm going to take our first jump ring, open it up. I'm going to thread on one of our leaves and I'm going to close that back. Okay. I'm going to attach another jump ring to this. I'm not going to thread anything onto this jump ring. This is just going to create some extra space. Okay. So I'm going to thread that one on to the jump ring we just attached. I'm going to close that back. One more jump ring. Now this time when I go to thread this jump ring on, I'm going to attach the leaves to this one. So I've got a leaf on one side and then a leaf on the other side. That's what's going to create our little cluster of leaves. Okay. Going to close that back. We're going to use one more jump ring to attach this to the bottom of our branch, and that'll be it. Okay, so here's our last little jump ring. Going to attach that to that top jump ring, and then we're going to attach it to the component. Easy, easy, easy to create, guys, if you're looking to start making your holiday jewelry for gifting or for your booth or your website. These little kits that I put together for our Fridays are perfect for that. And the maker mixes are as well because they can be your inspiration, right? They can be your jumping off point. So all we got to do now is just add our ear wire to this and we have a fabulous little owl. I'm obsessed. How cute are those? They're so awesome. And I don't know, the leaves, the owl, it just says fall me. But for people who are not super into the fall like colors, this like green purple shift and the purple in the leaves is perfect, right? Not everybody likes oranges and browns. And I totally get that. And of course, Danielle gets that as well. That's why she's picked out so many different colors of the owls and the leaves. It's awesome. So there you go. I'll try these on for you too. We've got, gosh, we've got three more kits, you guys. Moving right along, moving right along. Not, not taking a whole lot of time to ooh and ah, but oh, they're so cute. I love them. Okay, so we're gonna move on to another kit. Let's do one more pair of earrings and then we'll do a bracelet and a necklace, okay? So the next earrings, again, these are definitely fall inspired. They definitely are beautiful and they come in two different colors. So I have these beautiful antique brass teardrops, more of the leaves from Danielle. These are metallic. Look at those. So good. They're so good. Little pearls. So these are the rose colored pearls. And then the other color option is with a peach colored pearl. We're going to put these together real quick. Okay. So all the parts are in the kits in the shop. This is the one we're going to put together with the peach. I love these. They say fall, but they also say wear me all year because they're, they're very romantic and beautiful. Right. I wish I could lower you guys down a little bit more, but 
No, the color just seems kind of kind of off today. Okay, so you get all of the little parts that you need to put together the earrings. So that's what we're gonna do. Aren't they romantic and just fabulous? They're they're just so lovely. <laughs> At least to me, I don't know. You guys could think that they're like awful, but I think they're beautiful. <laughs> I hope you don't think they're awful. All right, so we've got a piece of wire because we've got to wire wrap our bird and our leaf together. We're gonna do that here in just a second. And we've got some head pins for our tiny little check glass beads and for our pearl. Now keep in mind, because those are tiny, then that means that your jump or your head pins that are included are tiny as well, right? They're included to be, I ink, okay, well, words are hard. I included tiny head pins to go with the tiny holes in your beads <laughs> intentionally. There we go. Much more sense made. All right. So let's start with our pearl because it's in kind of a precarious position. It's right here in the middle. And if you'll notice, it's wire wrapped directly to the component as is everything else. Uh, but that can be a little bit of a challenge uh, just because of the placement. So we're going to do that one first. So I'm going to take my head pin. I'm going to thread on my bead okay i'm gonna start my wrapped loop so i'm gonna come in with my chain nose pliers give the wire a bend okay i'm gonna come in with my round nose pliers i'm going up and over i'm gonna rotate and take that wire over to close up that loop but now before i do the wire wraps i've got to attach this in that weird little spot in the middle of this so you guys just give yourself grace like i always say because this is the one out of all of the wire wraps for this this project that might be a little tricky it's not hard it's it could just be frustrating so take the wire guide it through the center of that loop get those two to wiggle together again it's a challenge because of the placement it's not impossible it's not it's just just got to be a little patient, right? Okay, so wiggle those two together. Now we're working in a kind of a weird spot, right? Because you see, we have, we have very limited amount of space here to grab our wrapped loop with our pliers. So I suggest doing it on the back. That's what I'm going to do. And I definitely, I definitely think you should use your bent chain nose pliers for this. Um, in fact, if you can turn them the opposite direction, that might help. You can even come through the middle, which is what I'm going to do. So see how I place my pliers through the center of the component, okay, to hold this wire wrapped loop on the back. It's not going to stay on the back. It's going to swing when we're done. But just in order to make things comfortable to get those wire wraps, that's the placement for my tool, okay? Now, I'm gonna take my other tool here and do the wire wraps, right? And I'm gonna come in with my cutter tool and trim off the excess. And then you'll see it will hang nicely. It's just a matter of, you know, working in a little, a smaller space than what we may be used to working in, right? Get in there with the pliers and tuck in your ends so you don't have anything hanging. And then if it looks like it's a little off, see how mine's a little, mine's just a little crooked. It's all right. I'm just going to straighten everything up with my pliers. All right. There we go. All right. So that's the ch most challenging part of the entire earring. You guys, you, you've totally got this, right? All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wire wrap these little tiny three millimeter check glass beads. Look at those little metallic babies. We're gonna wire wrap those to the component as well. So coming in, I'm gonna come in with the round nose pliers. We're going up and over, rotate, take the wire over to the other side. Okay, I am gonna open this loop just slightly with my pliers. That makes it a little bit easier. Okay, now I don't want to put it in the middle because that's where our bird is going to go. So I'm going to go over to the, the next round loop and bring that together with my pliers and wire wrap it on. 
So no jump rings here. I like to just wire wrap directly to the component when possible. Okay, so if you're looking for jump rings in your kit, they're not there. If you want to use jump rings, you totally can, but you're going to have to use jump rings from your own stash because there's just not any in this kit. Okay. All right. Next one. Okay. Peggy's having trouble with her chat. Peggy, you tell it you're the boss. <laughs> Peggy, I need to message you after a while. If I forget and I get busy, I will message you this weekend. I promise. Look for a message from me. I want to ask you something. <laughs> You're not in trouble. <laughs> Just need to ask you something. Okay. So I'm going to wire wrap this one on. Okay. I do too. Jana says she prefers the wire wrap directly on. I do too. I just feel like it's particularly with earrings. Of course, it's not always possible, but with earrings, I try to wire wrap directly to the component as, as much as possible, just so I don't get the jump rings like accidentally caught in my hair and then they pull open. Right. So, okay. I'm going to do the bird this time. Okay. And I don't have a head pin for that. We've got our own little piece of wire because remember, our um, our leaf is drilled across the top, so we can't use a head pin for this. So I'm going to thread this on to a piece of wire here. I'm going to bring it to the middle, and we're going to do that same kind of briolette wrapping. So I'm going to bend the wire one direction. I'm going to bend the other side of the wire the other direction to make our little crisscross over the top of our leaf. And now going to bend the wire straight up and down. Okay. And I'm going to come in with my bent chain nose pliers, hold that little triangle together and I'm going to wire wrap. Okay. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to trim off the excess. All right. Now I'm going to thread on my bird, right? Thread that little guy down. He's going to sit right on top of those wire wraps. And now I'm going to wire wrap him directly to the component right here in that little middle loop. So I'm going to come in with a chain nose pliers again. I'm going to give the wire a bend. Round nose pliers. Okay, up and over. Rotate and take the wire all the way over. But now before I wire wrap, I want to open the loop and I'm going to thread that directly to the component. Whoops, sorry, did not mean to hit you guys. Okay, I'm going to hold that with my bent chain nose pliers and I'm going to wire wrap between our loop and our little bird. I love the little birds. I need more of these little bird charms in my life. All right, so now I'm going to come in with my cutter tool and I'm going to trim it off. And that's it. That's it. Just a little wire wrapping for this project, right? Look how beautiful. All oh, so pretty. They're just so romantic and lovely. All we got to do is just add our ear wire and these are complete. And again, there are two different color choices for this one. So this is the, the one with the peach the peach freshwater pearl or with the rose colored freshwater pearl. Either one are gorgeous, not even gonna lie. I mean, it's so hard to choose. All right, so there we go. Another set in the shop, right? So pretty, so pretty. Okay, let's move on. Let's do, Let's do a necklace and then we'll do, we'll save our bracelet for the end because the bracelet is kind of like the star of the show. Uh, so we're going to do our necklace next. So another beautiful set of beads that uh, our dear friend Danielle has in her shop are dragonflies and they're metallic and beautiful. Look how pretty. I love, 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 love. So I wanted to build my necklace 
and our kit around this beautiful dragonfly. So I kind of went with that whole color scheme of the dragonfly. So I have these vintage like peacock metallic beads. We're going to put together here. So I'm going to do a little spacer. I'm going to drop that guy down right on top. And we're going to wire wrap it to this awesome connector. Okay. So I'm just kind of building out to show you where we're going with this. Okay. So we're going to wire wrap these together and then we're going to take a gorgeous check, check glass textured bead and a beautiful amethyst. And we're going to put that on the bottom. So this is our focal. Okay. Just simple wire wrapping here. Nothing hard. We're going to make this our focal for our necklace. And then we are going to just do little rosary chain on either side. Okay. So we've got some faceted, these deep, deep purple with that metallic shift, a little bicone and three more of those. So that's going to come out on either side. Now to save time, I'm only going to do one of the beads on the second side here and we're going to wire wrap this and then we're just going to add chain to this okay because like i said we we want to save time we've been here a while we're already close to an hour and i've still got one more project to show you okay so i'm going to keep it i'm going to keep it as quick as possible so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to wire wrap our dragonfly and our little peacock bead to our component okay so I'm going to start a, another wrapped loop, lots of wrapped loops, but there are simple loops in this project as well. Okay, so I'm grabbing the wire, I'm going to give it a bend, get our first loop started here. Okay, taking the wire up and over our chain nose pliers, rotate, take the wire over to the other side. Now before I do anything else, I want to open my loop. And I'm going to thread this directly to our component. I'm obsessed with the component too, by the way. <laughs> Just obsessed with all, I, I, I love everything about our Feel Good Friday show today. Everything about it. Like I cannot pick my favorite thing. It's very hard between the maker mixes and all these gorgeous kits. Like I, I'm just in love with all of it. So I'm wire wrapping right over that. So I connected it to the loop, right? I'm just going to wire wrap. So again, no jump rings here, right? It's wire wrap directly to it. I'm gonna come in with my cutter tool, trim off. Okay, and now I'm gonna thread on my beautiful dragonfly queen. Okay. Albert is barking at every person that walks on the sidewalk. <laughs> I'm gonna thread on a little daisy spacer just to kind of break it up a little bit. And then our vintage peacock round bead with that beautiful color shift. It's like that purple teal. It's the same color shift that's in the, um, in the dragonfly. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to do another wrapped loop at the top. Okay. So I'm grabbing the wire that bend. Okay. I come in with the round nose pliers and up and over rotate and take the wire over to the other side and then i'm going to wire wrap in that space got enough for four wraps there okay so there is my wraps loop on the top of that and i'm going to come in with my cutter tool and trim off the excess wire make sure that if you got any little pieces sticking out that you tuck those in with your pliers okay all right so there's the beginnings of our focal. The last thing to do is to add our beautiful check glass bead to this. So I'm going to put that onto a head pin. Okay. And I am going to just wire wrap directly. So giving it a bend. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> I do love wire wrapping. So. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Rotating my pliers, taking the wire over to the other side. Okay. Now I'm going to open and I want to wire up directly to the components. So I'm going to put those two together, 
just pop them right in there. Okay, grabbing the wire and I'm gonna wire wrap in that space with the leftover wire here and definitely let gravity kind of take over and hold this bead down so that you can actually get in there and get those wire wraps, okay? All right, now I'm gonna come to the back and trim off the excess. All right, so there's our focal for our necklace. It's simple, straightforward, guys. There's nothing hard about that. That's why I say Friday is instant gratification, easy to recreate jewelry. This is just straightforward stacking of beautiful things, right? Just stacking of beautiful things. All right, so we're going to use a large jump ring here to connect our little rosary chain. Now, let me show you the rosary chain because, like I said, I'm not going to make the whole thing. Uh, just want to show you each side is three of these beautiful deep purple faceted beads and it's just simple loops okay we're going to do one but i wanted to show you so there's three a bicone and then three more and that is the little chain section for one side this one already has three a bicone and two so we're just going to do one of the beads okay just to save time just to save time so i'm going to take my bead and i'm going to thread it onto an eye pin Okay, drop that down and we're going to do a simple loop. So to do a simple loop, instead of doing the wire wraps loop, you don't have to have that extra space. So you don't want to bend the wire over the top of the pliers. Instead, you want to use the pliers to help bend the wire over the top of the bead. Okay, directly over the top of the bead. Now, I'm going to come in with my cutter tool and I'm going to trim off. I'm going to leave myself about a fourth of an inch of wire. Just trimming that, and I'm going to come in with my round nose pliers. It looks a little long. Trim just a tiny little bit off of that. All right, I'm going to come in with my round nose pliers to grab that wire right at the tip, and then I'm going to roll back towards my hand and the bead, and that's going to close up my simple loop. Okay? Now I have to reopen this simple loop, and I'm going to treat it just like I would a jump ring. So don't pull it apart. You just want to kind of twist it open just enough so that you can attach it directly to one of the loops on a previous bead, okay? And then close that back. So no jump rings in here, right? They're just directly connected to each other, okay? Just so you're aware, you're getting a bunch of eye pins, but no jump rings. Well, there are some jump rings, but not for this. <laughs> okay, so that will be the two chain pieces. To connect all of this together using a large jump ring in the center. So taking my jump ring between two pairs of pliers, I'm gonna twist to open. I'm gonna thread on my focal and I'm gonna thread on the end of each one of my chain pieces, one on one side, one on the other side. Okay, and then I'm gonna close that back. Now for the length of this necklace, I included chain and I included plenty of chain. So you can really, you know, cut this down to the size that you want it to be as far as your necklace is concerned. I know you can't really see the entire thing here. Um, we are gonna go ahead and attach the chain to this so I can show you on the bust here in just a second. But what I want you to know is that you've got plenty of chain. You can cut it to whatever length you want it to. You've got your uh, components to finish it off. But if you don't want to use chain, you could do leather for the length of this. You could do other cord or you could continue um, making, you know, a beaded rosary chain. That's just what it's called is a rosary chain when you do it like that without any jump rings. Um, so you really can kind of make this your own, right? But included in your kit is plenty of chain and a jump ring to attach on either side. All right? Okay, so our necklace is complete, right? And this is a beautiful piece that if you cut it short, you can wear it all by itself, but if you wanted to leave it long, which is also fabulous, you could you could definitely layer this with some of your other favorite pieces. Be so so pretty. So, definitely a lot of options there. And like I said, you got a lot of chain here. Lots of chain. So there's that one and we've got one more and then I'll show you this on the bust. I'll try all the earrings on for you. Okay. So we've got one more project, one more project to go. All right. And again, this is another fabulous project that includes beads from Danielle Wicks. Okay. 
So if you want more of these beads, you're going to have to go over to Danielle's shop and take a look. Another butterfly. Look at this one. That's so pretty. So this one's like pinky peach on one side and then kind of metallic on the other side. So that either side is gorgeous, right? Like there's no perfect side to this because they're both just simply stunning. So we're going to build a little dragonfly bracelet and we're going to do a multi-strand bracelet and we are using some more of those fabulous leaves. These are the metallic ones that you can grab over in her shop. Of course, you've got all of the ones you need in the kit, but if you want to get more, why wouldn't you, right? Then I've got all you need in the kit, all right? So we're going to put together a three-strand bracelet. We don't normally do multi-strand bracelets for kits just because I use a lot of materials, but I'm making an exception because this is just exceptionally fabulous. Okay. <laughs> so our three strands are going to be a, a wire wrapped section of the leaves. These awesome agate beads. These are agate. Can you believe that? But they have this like, elect, like it's not electroplated, but they have this like shifty mystical coating on them. I don't know. They're just fabulous. So, and they, I don't know. They just, they all needed to be together. So we're going to do a little wire wrapped section of the leaves, just like this. I'm just laying everything out so you can see. So a bead and that it's going to come to our dragonfly over here. We're going to have a chain section and then another little section of wire wrap, some more of these gorgeous agate beads. Okay, we're going to come to the end with a decorative bead on one side and a loop and a loop on the other. And then I, you have to have dangles and charms. So I have these little vintage dragonflies. And we're going to make a little beaded dangle on some twisted jump ring. Like, I mean, the goodness just keeps coming. I'm sorry. It just does. This is a beautiful piece. I'm tooting my own horn today because this is a, so pretty. It's so pretty. So let's put it together. Let's put it together, shall we? Enough talking about it. Let's make it happen. So, all right. I'm going to pull up the picture of it so I don't get it wrong. There's lots of little, little things here. Okay. So I'm going to take a piece of my wire. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to work on this little section here. Okay. So grab some more wire. So you have all these little wire pieces. I cut all these little pieces of wire just for you. They're in your kit just for you. Just know that's how I spent my week <laughs> was cutting wire for all of my friends. Okay. Grabbing the wire. I'm going to give it a bend. Okay. I'm coming in with the round nose pliers, going up and over, rotate. I'm going to take the wire over to the other side. Well, that was a short little, short little thing. Open that up just a little bit. And I'm going to wire wrap this directly to our little section that I already started. Okay. Again, just trying to save some time here. So you're going to have to wire wrap all of these little sections yourself. But I figure you kind of get that part, right? So I'm going to wire wrap that. Dragonfly fly bracelet is sold out already? Dang. I should do more multi-strand bracelets. The only reason I don't is just because they use a lot of materials, right? It's um, and making kits is expensive because I have to I have to gather all the materials and then create the design and then cut all the little pieces for the kits. It's time consuming and it uses a lot of materials. But dang, if you guys like multi-strand bracelets, I can hook you up. <laughs> All right, we're going to wire wrap on this end. I don't know if it's the bracelet itself or if it's just these amazing beads from Danielle. I think that's what it is. All right, up and over, rotate, and we're going to wire wrap. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna do our little our little leaves. So same thing, I'm gonna start with a wrapped loop. I'm gonna wrap it directly to what we've already done here, which is leaves, 
a bead leaves and another bead. Okay. <laughs> Patty, that's funny. Up and over. <laughs> Rotate. I wish. I'm telling you. One of these days I'm gonna I'm gonna make it big, right? Whoa! I'm gonna make it big somewhere, somehow. <laughs> and I will be making that trip to the bank with a skip in my step. All right. So wire wrap directly. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to thread on my leaves here. Now I want you to be careful with these leaves because they are drilled across the top and we're stacking three of them together and they're going to want to go in different directions, which is fine. But here's the thing. Will I talk to you then? Karen, always, always. I will never be too much for my people ever. My people. Wow. That was, I will, you guys are my friends. I don't want that to sound like anything other than just that y'all are my friends. Y'all are my family and I couldn't do any of this without you. So wherever I go, I'm taking you with me. You may as well just get used to it. Okay. <laughs> We're going on an adventure guys. All right. So what I was going to say is you want to be careful when you're threading these together because they're, they need to go in opposite directions. They can't all go in the same same space without a little bead in between them, right? So you want to alternate them onto the wire before you wire wrap. But here's the thing. You want to be careful even when you're wire wrapping because they're going to want to move and shift on you. And they are, um, you, it's not that they are delicate because they're not. You just want to be mindful when you're bringing your tool in here to do this, that you, because they're moving around, you don't accidentally crack them. Okay. I know this firsthand because I, the first time I did this, I cracked one of these little leaves and I, I definitely might've cried a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> might've cried a little bit. Cause it's, it sucks when you've got a beautiful bead, but here's the thing you're going to see as I wire wrap this, they're going to want to travel and move around. So just be mindful of your tools. Okay. Bending the wire. See, they just want to spin around, come in with your round nose pliers. Okay. Up and over. Rotate, take the wire over to the other side. Okay. Now here's the part where you gotta be careful. Okay. We're coming in with our tool to wire wrap, but we're going to go real slow. Okay. Cause these beads, they have a mind of their own. Okay. I can get one more wire wrap in there. Maybe. Hold on. I can. Okay just using my fingers instead of my tool. Cause I'm telling you, I don't trust my pliers in there. All right, there we go. Now I can come in and trim off the excess. Being careful. Okay. Now, there we go. Make them all do what you want them to do. Don't, don't let them do their own thing. <laughs> You're the boss of the beads and the wire. Okay. So there's our bottom section, just so you can see. Uh, can you imagine, okay, just, I'm just tooting Danielle's horn a little bit here too. Can you imagine an entire necklace in this pattern? with these beads and another bead, three of the leaves. Like I need an entire, I need a whole necklace out of that, right? I need a whole necklace that looks like that. And then like, I don't know, dragonfly or an owl. Any of her stuff from the fall forest is gonna look amazing with this. It all goes together. Okay, so our chain, we don't really need to do anything to our chain. The next thing we gotta do is this little guy. Now this is different because there are jump rings in between here. Okay. It is simple loops, but there are jump rings in between. So we're going to do that real quick. Just going to put one together. So head pin, or I'm sorry, an eye pin and three of our agate beads. 
that crazy shifty goodness going on. Okay. Coming in. I'm going to bend the wire because we're just doing a simple loop. Ooh, yeah. Double strand necklace would be amazing. All right. All the stuff to do that is over in Danielle's shop. you got to check her out. Even if you look at more than just the fall forest stuff, like her shop rocks. She's got some gorgeous, she just has really good taste. Okay. Can we just get down to the, the, the real truth about it? Is it, she just has really good taste. So she picks out great things to have in her shop because her taste is amazing. All right. Simple loop on that one. Okay. And there's already a jump ring here. I'm going to just open up. this jump ring and thread this one on okay so you would do four of those little sections with the agate beads and the little jump rings in between there the little jump rings were necessary in order to make it even with the other two strands if i didn't add those little jump rings it would have been a little short so that's that's why okay so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to put these onto one of these rings, which actually turns out to be a really large jump ring, right? So I'm going to open it just slightly. I'm going to thread on bottom strand, the chain strands. I do want to put another jump ring on the end of this one. Okay, and then I'm going to close that back. Okay, same thing down here on the other end. I'm going to add another jump ring. To this beaded one right here. Okay, and then another one of these rings. Just make sure that when you go to thread these on, you thread them in the same order, okay, that you did on the other side. So there's that one. There's our chain and our little beaded section. And close that back. Those are strong, but I'm able to do them with just my fingers uh, instead of using my chain nose pliers to mark up the metal. All right, so there are three strands, okay? Now, I realize this is short. Okay, we're going to put a decorative bead on one side. We're going to do our dragonfly down here on the other side. But uh, I don't have this out. But this uh, bracelet in everybody's kits comes with extension chain uh, because I realize everybody has different sized wrists. Okay, dokie. Now we want to make our little dangles. Okay, so let's do that real quick. I like dangles. That's fun. We're going to take a head pin, put it in a thread on one of our agate beads, a bead cap, just to kind of make it like a little acorn, I guess. I don't know. Okay, drop that down. And we're gonna wire wrap. So we're just gonna do a wire wrap loop at the top, up and over. Renee says, where can I find those large? You know what, I don't really know. I had them in my stash. I'm not real sure where they came from, but I tell you what is a good trick is if you get like large link chain, in fact, that might've been what mine were, uh, where I had just taken some chain apart because they are very, very big. Okay, trim off. And tuck in any end here. And then we're just gonna add a twisted jump ring to this. Love these little twisted jump rings. They look like little vines. I'm gonna attach that. Okay. Oh, I should have attached all of these beforehand. Okay. So I've got two of those and I have one of these little vintage dragonflies. I'm going to reopen this and I'm going to thread these on one at a time, which I don't think is going to hurt it. So I'm going to thread on my two little dangles and dragonfly. Close that back. So fun, so fun. Okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry about the barking. 
All right, we're gonna do a wrap loop because we're gonna do a wrap loop for our dragonfly. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Just a couple more steps and we'll have this one finished. Okay, so I'm taking the wire up and over. Rotate the pliers, wire. I'm gonna do about three wraps. Okay, so there's my wraps. I'm gonna trim off the excess. Oh, it wasn't the mailman, Donna. It was my son. He's home from work. <laughs> home from work. Home from work. No mailman. Not yet. My mailman has been running later and later and later these days. So, all right. I'm going to do another wrap loop on the other end of this. Okay. So up and over. I wish it was the mail. <laughs> I have a Michaels order that I'm waiting on. You guys, Michaels always sucks me in. Of course, I have a I have a Michaels class tomorrow, by the way, at 2 p.m. Eastern time, if you'd like to see it. Um, but they get you with the coupons, okay? And it's not just the coupons. It's the voucher. Yes, Peggy, he is 100% better. Thank you for asking. Well, he's not 100%, but he was he's well enough to go back to work. Um Today was his first day, actually. So what was I even say? Oh, they're vouchers. So if you spend so much money on the Michaels website, <laughs> they send you a voucher of more money to spend. So like today, I got a voucher that says, you got $25 in voucher points. So I'm like, there's $25 just sitting there that I could spend on Michaels. And I'm going to open this one more time. I know I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to drop that on there. I could have just done those all at the same time, but I didn't. So there's our dragonfly on land. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> back to Michael's, um, you know, I buy a big order of stuff because I have to have the beads for the classes that I teach. Right. So I make a big order and then I always pick up things that I want for myself as well. And then they're like, oh, you spent enough money. Here's 25 more dollars for you to spend. And then it's like, oh, my gosh, I got to spend that $25 because you have to use it like in a certain amount of time. Right. <laughs> and I fall for it every, every time, every time. I'm like, I just I can't let free money just sit there like that's beads that need a home. <laughs> all right. All right. Threading on. Our last little bit of this bracelet is a decorative bead. Okay. I'm going to do a, a, just a simple loop on the end of this one. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> you guys, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. And they're like, you only have a month. And if you don't use it, then they email you and they're like, your voucher is about to expire. And you're like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So I'm just going to do a simple loop on this one and I'm actually gonna yeah there we go wasn't the best loop ever but so I've got a loop on one end and a loop on the other end this is just the decorative go between for these guys just to add more length to this and it's just beautiful let's be honest so I'm gonna thread that on to the link on this side and then I'm just gonna attach my clasp okay so my clasp is a twisted jump ring and a little baby jump ring. It's also a twisted jump ring. I'm trying to find the opening here. All right. So I'm going to open this one. I'm going to thread it on to the loop on our little decorative bead. Close that back. And I'm going to do this one down here on the other end. It's such a pretty bracelet. I know it kind of looks like a mess now that I've kind of, tangled it up a little bit but I'll lay it back out so you can see it's such a pretty fun piece that all of it is pretty right not just the middle of it like the middle of it with those multi strands that's awesome you can add more things to the chain like if you wanted to you could add more charms and stuff to the rings on either end if you wanted to but even at the clasp we've got our beautiful butterfly we've got our twisted jump rings we have our decorative bead and it's just pretty all the way around right? There's no spot on this that isn't pretty. The only thing I probably would do um, different if you wanted to change it up would maybe add a decorative clasp. I just included regular uh, 
you know, lobster clasp. If you wanted to, I've seen there are some dragonfly toggles. Those would look beautiful with this. Like there's a lot of things you could do for the clasp if you wanted to take it even further. But that's a beautiful multi-strand design with beautiful colors that you'd either wear for yourself or this would be a really good gift. So like I'm really seriously thinking ahead to holidays and gifting and kits are just an easy way to take care of that because somebody's already done the thinking for you. That's why I love the goodie beads kits. Somebody's already done the thinking. I just put it together and then I can give it away, right? Or wear it, keep it, you know. <laughs> You know how it is. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys around and we are going to take a look at things and then I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys go for the day because we've been together for a while here. So I've got to eat. I'm starving, you guys. I've got a salad in my little refrigerator that's calling my name. And I'm gonna follow it up with some Oreos. Just saying. <laughs> Saving my calories for dessert. Okay, so <laughs> You guys know I'm a snacker. Can't help myself. All right, I'm going to put the necklace on the bus so you can see it. Okay, it's really long. Like I said, lots of chain here. Whoops, that's backwards. Um, but you can shorten it up. You can do whatever you want to as far as the length is concerned. But I just wanted you to see what it looks like, right? It's just a beautiful, simple design. Like, you don't have to use a ton of materials to make great gifting pieces, right? Or if you're stocking up your booth, right? Or your website. These are great filler pieces that are so gorgeous, right? They're going to bring people in. They're going to spend their money on these pieces and then they're going to see your statement pieces and your pieces that are more expensive and they're going to buy those too, right? Super pretty. So, so pretty. So there was that one. And of course our bracelet, which I can't really, but you can see just to see the colors are a little bit different from this direction. So pretty. Okay. Show you the earrings. So these were the birds. Jenna says, beautiful. Can't wait to make it. And I'm keeping it. I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm keeping it. So there are our, oh, they're so beautiful. Just these little romantic birds. I just, I just love them. I, lo I might have to make a pair for myself. Like, I think they're so beautiful. They're so simple, but like there's just something romantic and kind of Victorian about them. I know I keep using that word, but that's really what they make me feel like. And it's that antique brass, the metallic, and then that that warmth from the peach and the rose of those pearls. You just, you can't go wrong with that. All right. Second to last earring are the owls. Aren't those fabulous? To get a little closer so you can see. Those are so fun. And those come in uh, purple and silver, purple and copper, and this green, purple, and gold. And all of them are amazing. And then last but not least are these fabulous butterflies that I cannot get enough of. It's so hard to pick what my favorite is out of today. Like everything was so good. <laughs> I don't often say that because you guys know I'm pretty humble, but I kind of did a good job this week. Look how pretty. Oh, but the green. Oh, but the green. I can't decide which ones of these I like the best. Like that green is just. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, well, it would help if you could see. It's weird because the camera for StreamYard is opposite what um, what it actually is. So it's hard for me to <laughs> like grabbing the wrong side of my face. Aren't those pretty? Love them. Love them, love them. I hope you guys have loved them just as much. Guys, don't forget, don't forget to sign up for text messages. Those links have been dropped. Don't forget to go over to my Etsy shop and make your little purchases, which are always appreciated so, so much. Um, and check out Danielle's shop as well, because that's where all of the amazing beads today came from. Like I said, she has amazing taste. She's an amazing designer. She also teaches classes with Michaels. Um, so you should check her out if you are not familiar with her. What have you been doing with your life? <laughs> she's awesome. And not only is she an awesome designer and has great taste, she's also a pretty amazing, amazing human being. And those are the people that I like to kind of surround myself with. So I can vouch for her and say she's good people. You guys, she really is good people. Um, my Michael's class is tomorrow at 2 p.m. I'm doing a pearl knotted bracelet. It's so pretty. Come hang out. Come hang out. Those classes are free. 
just come and hang out, spend your Saturday afternoon with me. Um, if you don't want to, that's okay too. I will see my um, hardwired group at 5 p.m. for our weekly wrap up. And then everybody else, I'll see you guys again on Tuesdays. Don't forget, we're no longer doing Thursday lives temporarily. Um, I actually have some extra Thursday lives that I'll be throwing in here and there, but because I'm working on so many new things for you guys, I had to take that day so that we could um, work on all of these extra fun things, right? I have to take that away to give you guys more. So just know that that means that there's more coming for you. I'm not abandoning you or leaving you. Um, I'm sad that we don't have our Thursdays, but I have to have that Thursday in order to make things even better, more exciting for you all, okay? Um, let's see, anything else? I can't really think of anything else. Just make sure that... Uh, you know, you uh, take your maker mixes and make pictures of the designs that you create to enter to win. Congratulations again to Jana May. I will be getting in touch with her and sending her her gift basket. It's not a basket, but I mean, that's what we're going to call it, right? <laughs> For the rest of you, have an amazing rest of your Friday. Have an amazing weekend, you guys. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see you again. I think next week on Tuesday, we're going to use the bargain bead box. Don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to use for the beads for our project for next week. Okay. All right. You guys go Chiefs. I'll see some of you on Sunday, you know, right? We'll be cheering on uh, Mahomes and Kelsey and might be looking at their cute little tushies in their uniforms. I don't know. Just saying. All right, guys. I love you guys. Have a great afternoon. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.